start our warm up. So we're just going to start with a march. Oh, the other thing is I don't play music um, except for the birds that are chirping around me when I'm outside and that is and the cars that are driving by. But that is because um, I want you to be able to hear me with my cues and the time um, and everything, all the moves that are coming up. So you can play music on your end if you want, but you don't have to um, as long as you can hear me and you know what's coming up. So start to bring your knees up a little bit higher. Start to pump those arms up a little bit higher. And I often turn to the side so you can see my form, but you don't have to turn. You can always just face me. I don't know how this mat is gonna work out. There's always new things I discover doing these classes because I'm either outside or in a living room, in a basement, quarantine life. Okay, start to step side to side. I might just go back here. And arms in and out. Usually the sound is pretty good as far as you being able to hear me. Um, but if for some reason it's not, always let me know. There's a woodpecker I can hear in the backyard eating our cheese. And often it feels like it's just me talking to myself because there's no actual people in front of me. So <laughs> I see one tiny, one tiny video. Okay, keep side to side, but we'll start kicking your heels up to the back. And arms up and down. This is not an easy move to coordinate. So with this move and any move, even when we get into the workout, do your tempo for your reps at whatever tempo you need to do it at. So that's either tempo is basically how fast or slow you're going. So a lot of this is self-regulated. So you know what's best for your body and best for your ability. Okay, kicks to the front and swing opposite arm, opposite leg. Today, we won't be doing any jumping, any plyometrics. Sometimes we do, but there's always modifications. I will always show you an easier version of the moves. And if we ever do any plyometrics, you can always take the jump out and just do low impact. And I have a chair here that I show people they can squat to the box, chair, couch, ottoman, table, um, instead of if they need a little bit of help with that squat. Okay, back to the march. Try to really bring those knees up high this time, but controlled, we don't wanna see Swinging nice and controlled. We're trying to warm the joints up, get the blood flowing, get our range of motion going. Okay, side to side and arms in and out again. Let me come off this mat. Okay, and just stand on the spot and just do some nice gentle twists. Standing upright, very nice and easy. Swing in your arms a little bit, warming up your spine. It's a nice 10 degrees Celsius here. I'm in Northern Alberta, for those of you that didn't know. It's been raining, cats and dogs, but it finally stopped just for class, so that's nice. Okay, now we're gonna take it down to the ground just for a few push-ups, just to warm up nice and easy. You can do them on your knees if you want. Do about six and then come back up and join me. And stand up when you're ready. And then we're just gonna take it into a few nice, easy body weight squats. Try to get your thighs at the bottom parallel to the ground. If you can only get to about here, this is where your box comes in. Sit down on the chair, stand up. Sit down on the chair. Use the handles if you need some help. We all, we sit down and stand up so much during the day. So it's important to practice that too. We're squatting all the time. Okay, now we're gonna take it into some reverse lunges. So with lunging, if your knees are good, you can do 
a reverse lunge, stepping back. You can hang on to something if you need balance. If you have bad knees and you can't lunge down, just step back like this. And you can hang on to something if you need, anytime if you need balance. Or if you don't want to lunge, you can always go to your squat to the box or just your squat to the air also. Okay, take it down for some push-ups. With push-ups also, you can do them on an incline so you can be up on the couch here, doing them this way against a wall. That's easier too, my phone keeps falling over. My phone is my timer. <laughs> Come on up. Make sure you have water. Now I'm warm. Okay. Grab some water. Have a little break. We're going to do seven moves in a circuit. So I'll show you what those moves are first before we get started. And I will also talk you through them as we go. Um, first move is going to be Dumbbells by the side. You can also use a band if you want, um, or if you have a heavy bag, you can use it here. Hold it here. We're gonna do a squat, a curl, and a press. Squat, curl, press. That's the first move. Second move, we're gonna do a tempo sumo squat. So that's a wider stance. You can use a heavier weight for this if you want, or your lighter ones, that's fine. And we're gonna, squat to tempo. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this one purposely we're going to try to slow down just to make it harder. As always, if you need help, you can have your dumbbells here, squatting, curl, press. You can do your slow squat here too. Third move is going to be um, a floor press, chest press. So if you have dumbbells, you're gonna be laying down, just doing like a chest press. You can do dumbbells or your heavy bag. This is my heavy bag today. <laughs> it's a heavy press. Two hands. Or if you don't have any weight, you can do push-ups. So you can do them from your knees or your toes or on an incline. Incline makes it a little bit easier than toes. And then we're gonna do a lunge, squat, lunge, alternating left and right. You can use your weights. You don't have to use your weights. You don't have to use weights for any of this if you don't want either. You can always just use, squeeze your muscles. It really still works. Um, next move, we're going to do a row and a tricep extension combo. Row extension. And like I said, I'll go through these again as we go. Next move is going to be a Russian twist. It's this, this old school guy. If that's too much for you, you can lean against the chair. I can't lean against this one because too far away. Lean against the couch, put your feet on the ground, and just do this. Or you can even do it just sitting on the chair too. Modify it how you need for your ability. Last move is going to be mountain climber. You're in a plank position, bringing your knees in. Alternating. If mountain climbers are too much for you, you can go back to your switch move standing, or you can do them at an incline and just bring your knees in, or you can just stand up. Kind of just getting like a full body core, um, get your heart rate up a little bit. Okay, those are the moves. I'm grabbing a quick water. So, oh, hey brother, my brother's here. <laughs> Teaching workout class on Facebook. Um, Rest-based training, so you determine when you need to rest. Take your rest and join us in the circuit wherever we are. Don't worry about keeping up with me. Don't worry about stopping when I stop or when anyone else stops, okay? So we're gonna start in a few seconds with our squat curl press. I'm gonna let you know approximately how much time is left as we go and what move is coming next. So grab your dumbbells, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, dumbbells, squatting, Curl, overhead press. Squatting, curl, overhead press. Keep going till you need to take a break 
or until I tell you that the next move is starting. Try to get those dumbbells to the ground if you can when you squat. So as I mentioned before, you can use your chair if you need. You can also just squat or you can just press in the chair too. If you are having trouble with weight bearing. 20 seconds left. The heavier your weights, the more rest you're gonna need and that's okay. That's a good thing. 10 seconds and then we're gonna move to our tempo squat, sumo squat. Wide stance, it's gonna be two seconds. I'm gonna use my real heavy thing for this. Wide stance, sumo stance, weights in the middle. One, two, three, four. Keep your chest up, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Even though I'm counting, you don't have to match me. You can go at your own tempo. Just try to slow it down if you can. Like I said before, you can use your box for this. You can always use your box, your chair. I call it a box. 25 seconds left. Chest is up. Get that breathing going. Take a rest whenever you need. 10 seconds left. And then we're gonna go to our push up or floor press, whatever you decide. Three seconds. Okay, if you're doing a push up, down to your push ups. If you're doing your floor press, you're back, pushing your dumbbells up. Chest press. Or you can use your heavy bag. You can use an exercise band too, just wrap it around your back. Keep going, 36 seconds left. So push-ups, you can be on your knees. You wanna have those hands underneath your shoulders, back tight and your elbows are going out, arms at a 45 degree angle on the way down. Sixteen seconds left. I often switch angles just so you can see my form from many different angles. Ten seconds and we're gonna go to our lunge squat lunge combo. Six seconds. Okay, grab your dumbbells if you want to use them. You don't have to. You can do uh, no weight. Lunging on one leg, squatting, lunging on the other leg. Lunging on one leg, squatting, lunging on the other leg. Options for this, if you can't lunge, you can step back, squat, step back. Or you can just squat to your chair. That's fine too. 30 seconds left, halfway there. Also, you can do a reverse lunge if you don't like the forward lunge. That's okay too, and it's a little bit easier on your knees. You choose the modification variation that is suited to the best of your personal ability. 10 seconds left. And then we're gonna go to our bent over row and extension, tricep extension combo. Three seconds left. Okay, dumbbells slightly bent over, 45 degrees at the back. Rowing, tricep extension, rowing. Now, you could use a band for this too. If your dumbbells are too heavy, you could skip the extension because triceps aren't as strong as your back muscles. So you could just row. Nice neutral spine. You're looking at a spot on the ground, on the floor, about three feet ahead of you. Back is not arched, back is not rounded. Back is neutral, neck is neutral. 16 seconds left. Feet, hip width apart, nice soft bend in the knees. Seven seconds and we're gonna go down for our Russian twist. Okay, down on the floor. If you have a good back, lift your legs up if you can. You can use a weight, go side to side. If you do not have a good back, you can just sit on the couch, on the chair, on the floor, 
and just move side to side with no weight. A little bit easier version is keeping your feet on the ground, using no weight. You modify it how you need, 30 seconds left. And you can lean your back against something too if you need a little bit of help with that too. I have nothing here, but <laughs> pretend there's a couch behind me. I would lean on the couch and it takes the pressure off your back. 13 seconds left, and then we're gonna go to our mountain climbers. Push as hard as you can for as long as you can and take a break when you need. That's the whole thing. Okay, mountain climbers, we're flipping over. Plank position, knees are coming in. A Little bit of kind of cardio here. Tuck the belly button in. If you can't do mountain climbers, on the ground, you can do them on an incline, just bringing your knees in. You can just march, you can jog, you can do this. Bushwhacker move, <laughs> the old wrestler. Or you can just step back. 30 seconds left. Rest whenever you need, you don't have to rest when I rest. I'm taking my little rest right now. 15 seconds left. Then we're gonna go back up to the top. Six seconds for our squat curl press combo. Okay, back to the top, round two. Grab your dumbbell. Squatting, bicep curl, shoulder press. Squatting, bicep curl, shoulder press. Getting those thighs to parallel. So as I said before, you need to use your chair. Use your chair. You can do this with no weight. You can do these with soup cans, detergent jugs. 16 seconds left. 10 seconds, and we're gonna go to our tempo sumo squat. Three seconds. Okay, use your dumbbells or your heavy weight. Wide stance, toes are slightly turned out, and a slow up. Try to count to four if you can, and down. You can use your chair for this if you need, like always. Keep the chest up. Play with your stance, everybody's different. Just try to have a wider stance than you normally do for your squat. Keep your chest up. It's not a deadlift, so don't bend over at the hips too much. We're doing a squat. Squat and be sacred. <laughs> Our little tagline we have now. 10 seconds left. And we're gonna go down for our push up or floor press. Uh oh, mosquitoes are out. I might have to spray. Okay, down to the ground. Push ups. Or chest press with your dumbbells. Or your heavy bag. My heavy bag. Back is flat on the ground if you're doing this way. Push ups you can do on your knees, on your toes, or on an incline with your torso elevated. Helps it out a little bit. If you're doing push ups, suck in that belly button, keep your ribs down. Nice tight body. 20 seconds left. And then we're going to go up for our lunge, squat, lunge. Eight seconds. Whew. This thing is heavy. <laughs> okay, stand up. Dumbbells, if you want to use them, you don't have to. Lunging, squat, lunging. Or reverse lunge, squat, 
reverse lunge. Or step back, squat, step back if you can't lunge. Or like always, you can squat to your chair. 30 seconds left. Take a break whenever you need. Join us wherever we are in the circuit. 16 seconds. Ten seconds, and then we're going to go to our row tricep extension combo. Three seconds. Okay, bent over row. Back is at a 45 degree angle. Row, tricep extension. Row, extension. If your dumbbells are too heavy for the extension, just do the row. If you don't want to use anything, just squeeze. Slow down and squeeze. I'm gonna spray mosquito spray because the mosquitoes are out. And mosquitoes love me. They will bite me anytime I'm outside. Row extension. Row extension. Back is neutral. Neck is neutral. Looking at a spot about two or three feet ahead of you on the floor. 10 seconds left. And then we're going down for our Russian twist. Two seconds. Woo. Down on the ground. The hard version. Feet are up. You have a weight in your hand. Twisting side to side. Easier version. Drop your feet. Twist side to side. Even easier. Lean against something. Lean against the couch or the chair. Side to side. Even easier. No weight. You choose what you need. Whatever you can do without compromising your form. This is too hard on your back. Drop your feet and lean against something behind you. 20 seconds left. And then after this, we're going to go to our mountain climbers. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Whew. Flip over. Plank position. Bring your knees in. Get a little bit of cardio here. Suck the belly button in. Keep your butt down. We don't want to be way up here. Nice flat plank. Easier version. Put your hands up on something and bring your knees in this way. Or just stand up and march. Swing your arms if you can or you can step back, or you can switch fast, like this. <laughs> 30 seconds. Ooh, slippery grass. 20 seconds. Take a rest whenever you need. You don't have to rest when I do. I will repeat that till the end of time. 12 seconds left. Also take water <laughs> and flipping whenever you need. Four seconds, and then we're going back up for round three. Back up to the top. Grab your dumbbells if you're using them. Squat, curl, press. Squat, curl, press. You don't have to use weights for this if you don't want. You can use your chair. You can just squat. You can just sit and press if you want. 25 seconds left. Nice to see some new people on today. Hope you all saw the prize options. We already gave away to our first three winners. Their t-shirts and masks. Eight seconds left. Three seconds and we're going to our tempo sumo squat. Wide stance, weight in the middle, squatting down, chest is up, slow up, slow down. 
chest is up. Get that butt low to the ground. You can also hold your weight up here if you have lighter dumbbells, that's fine. Or do this with no weight. Or do this squatting to your chair. And you can do a regular stance squatting to your chair also. 22 seconds left. Ooh, I'm feeling that. 15 seconds left. I'm gonna grab some water. And then we're gonna go down for our push up floor press. Five seconds. Okay, down to the ground. You're doing dumbbells, one in each hand. Ooh, very heavy bag, two hands, pressing. This is a John Deere tractor lawnmower weight that my dad adds to his lawnmower to weigh it down if he needs. Weighs about 45 pounds. Whew. Ooh. 30 seconds left. Remember if you're doing push-ups, hands are underneath your shoulders here. Elbows, um, arm 45 degree angle out. Belly button tucked in. And you're looking down, not out this way. Neck is neutral. 12 seconds left. Tight back. Keep that back tight even when you're pushing to protect your shoulders. Four seconds left and we're coming up for our lunge squat lunge. Grab your dumbbells if you're using them. Left lunge, squat, right lunge. Or reverse lunge. Squat, reverse lunge. Or just step back if you can't lunge. Or once again, you can always just squat to the box. Oops, I missed my squat. <laughs> it can get complicated trying to talk and teach at the same time because I have all these combo moves. Squat, lunge. 20 seconds left. After this, we're going to our row tricep extension combo. So even though we're not technically doing cardio, the style and structure of this workout makes you feel like it. Okay, bent over row, dumbbells, elbows tight to the body, extension, row, extension. Elbows are sliding along the side of your body. Back is at a 45 degree angle. Neck is neutral, looking at a spot on the ground about two or three feet ahead of you. 26 seconds left. You can always do one arm too if you need the support. Um, but usually you can just do no weight if bending over with weights is too much. 13 seconds left. And we're gonna go to our Russian twist. Five seconds. Two seconds, okay. Down on the ground or the chair if you're sitting in a chair. Twisting side to side, heavy, hard version, feet are off the floor. Easier version, drop your feet. Even easier, drop the weight. Lean against the couch if you need. Keep going, keep going. Thirty-three seconds left. I'm moving you because it's starting to rain. <laughs> so computer goes here under the tent. Keep going, 20 seconds left. Twisting. And then we're gonna go for our last move after this, the mountain climber. Five seconds left. Okay, flip over, plank position, knees are coming in. Or if you're standing, you can do this. You can do it in incline. Just gonna adjust this. <laughs> Five 
This is our last one. Tuck the belly button in, drive those knees in. You can also slow it down too if you need. 26 seconds left. It's just sprinkling. I won't get too poured on. Whew. 12 seconds left. Almost there. Eight seconds. Two seconds. Whew. That's it. So that's our workout. We're gonna do a little cool down now. Move this stuff. Okay, make sure you can still see me. Okay, good. Whew. Good work, everybody. Grab some water. Keep your legs moving. You can sway side to side or wander a little bit. If you feel like your heart rate is still pretty high, you want to keep those legs moving so your blood doesn't pool and you don't get dizzy. Okay, and start this other timer. So when you're ready, come join me. I'm probably gonna wander for a bit while my heart rate comes down. Take one arm, cross it over the front of the body, chest, use the other arm to pull that arm towards you. Stretching the shoulder, side of the shoulder, a little bit into the back. Switch arms. Keep your elbows, or I mean your shoulders down. We don't want them up by your ears. Always think shoulders down. And be gentle when you're stretching your shoulders with all joints really. So we have a lot of little tiny muscles in our shoulder stabilizer. Shoulder girdle, rotator cuff, all the same thing. Okay, one arm up, bend it, hand behind your head, your back. Take the other arm, grab that elbow, pull it towards your head. Stretching the back of the arm, the triceps. Ribs are down, belly button is sucked in, nice tight column. We're not arching our back here and we're not rounding like this. Straight up and down as you can. Just always think suck the belly button in. That'll help protect your back. Even when you're sitting, zooming all day, every day. Switch arms. Keep that stretch. I'm just gonna back this up into the tent a little more, <laughs> just in case <laughs> that rain. Okay, hands out to the side. Think of pushing the heels of your hands away from you. Fingertips to the ceiling, to the sky. Shoulders are down away from your ears. They're not up here, they're down here. Belly button in, ribs down. If you can ever so slightly move your hands behind you like an inch, not even. Stretches your bicep. Keep that stretch going. And also move this cord. Okay, now take those hands behind you, lace your hands behind you, straighten your arms. If you can, you can keep them slightly bent if you need. Shoulders are down, ribs are down, belly button in. Lift the arms behind you as much as you can within your range of motion to feel a stretch in the chest and the front of the shoulders. A little bit in the biceps you should feel too. You can also flip your hands inside out. If you have that flexibility, you'll feel it a little more in the forearms. I like this one. So speaking of forearms, something we often forget to stretch. This side of your forearm and this side of your forearm, especially since we are on our computers a lot these days. Palm up. Take this hand, these fingers, gently pull the fingers down away from you, stretching your wrists and your forearms on this side. Be nice and gentle, shoulder down, 
Be careful with your elbow. You just wanna feel a little stretch here. Flip over, stretch the other side. Gently, gently, gently. Now you can feel the stretch on the top of the arm. Be careful with that wrist, it's very delicate. Switch arms. You wanna hold your stretches for at least 10 seconds. You can get into them longer. Stretch more after this class is done. That is always ideal. When I'm working out on my own, I usually stretch for about, hold my stretches for at least 30 seconds, sometimes a minute if I can really relax into it, much like yoga. Okay, we'll do some lower body stretches. This first, we'll do a standing quad stretch. Hang on to something if you need. Stand on one leg, pull the other leg behind you, holding on to the ankle, the front of the foot, pulling that heel towards your butt, keeping your knees together. See how my knees are together, not way out here. And pull with that arm, feeling the stretch in the front of the thigh, the quads. Switch legs. Try to get that heel as close to your butt as you can with your knees together. You don't want to be bent over too much either because you're not really going to feel it if your knees aren't together. You can also think of pushing your hips forward a little bit like a pelvic tilt. That will help deepen the stretch. Okay, hamstring stretch. We'll do one standing. Split stance. One foot in front of the other. Rest your weight on the bent leg. This leg here is uh, straight, but a nice soft bend in the knee. 45 degree angle with the back. You're not rounded, you're not arched, nice and neutral, as always, looking at the floor, a few feet ahead of you. Think of pushing your butt to the wall behind you, bringing your chest down, feeling the stretch in the back of the straighter leg. The deeper you can bring your chest down, the more you'll feel the stretch. Switch legs, nice and gently, come up. Okay, hip flexors. If you can come down into a lunge position, kneeling on one leg, this foot is up. 90 degree angle here. Hang on to something if you need. I always do so I can relax more into it and just lean forwards into it and stretching the front of the hips, the hip flexor right up high here. And a little bit you'll feel in the back of the other leg in the hamstring. Make sure you have something under this knee, padding, a mat, a pillow. If you come down, you'll feel the stretch a little more in the hamstring of the bent leg and the adductors, the inner thigh, groin area. Lots of different ways to play with this stretch. Some people go right to the ground here. Or you can have your palms here and try to lower yourself. But think of keeping this knee out and away from you. Switch legs. So the more upright you are, the more you're gonna feel it in this hip here. And the further down you go, the more you'll start to feel it in this leg. It's good to stretch those hips and your joints from all, as many angles as you can. Nice and gently, only go to a point of slight discomfort. You don't ever wanna to go to pain. And you wanna breathe through those stretches. You'll feel your body get to that reflex where it's like, I don't want to stretch anymore. And you can just breathe into it and relax a little more and just get past it a bit. And you'll just get that much more flexible. Okay, come on. If you want to do a glute stretch, you have two options. You can lay down, cross one ankle over one knee, push this knee out that way. Hands are around this leg, pulling this leg towards you. Or you can do it seated. Let me just turn this around. You can sit, cross one ankle over the other knee, push this knee away from you, and just lean into it. I am not very flexible in my hips, this is as far as I go, but I still feel the stretch. Think of bringing your chest towards the ground, towards this leg, keeping this knee out and away from you. Switch legs.
send it out. Yay. Um, calf stretch. You want to put your foot up, ball of your toe against something, the wall, the couch, the chair, or hang it off of a stair and just bring your body towards that wall or whatever you have your foot up against, doing it in the calf. If you bend your leg slightly, it'll go lower into your soleus, like the bottom of your calf, just above your Achilles. You wanna stretch both areas of the calf, top and bottom, upper and lower. Switch legs. Okay. We're done.